Good day and a very warm welcome to yet another MiCAD Minute. My name is Raymond and within this uh, tutorial I'll be showing you guys some 3D textures that's available within SolidWorks. So basically the gist of this feature is the ability to bring in a textual picture and manipulating that into actual 3D geometry. We can then straight uh, uh, we can then put that straight into manufacturing specifically for the 3D printing guys. Um, this can also be the graphics body that's con uh, that's created can also be converted into a B-Rep mesh body for any further editing or manipulating of the parasolid data, if need be. So let's jump right in and have a look. I'll be making use of this very simple cell phone cover. And to demonstrate, demonstrate the actual 3D textures, I'll be making use of one of my custom uh, pictures that I've kind of downloaded off the net and seen that we all had to count the days within the epidemic. I'll be making use of this. So a very simple drag and drop operation can be used. You guys will notice, let's just do that again. You guys will notice it asks very specifically if I want to have the whole part affected, the body, the feature, or just the face. So I'll go ahead with that. To edit or tweak the actual scale of the textures just slightly, we can go ahead and click on the display manager and just double click our texture over there. You guys will notice we can dynamically manipulate it a simple drag operation and I'll leave it as that for now. Please be aware guys that there's many other uh, tabs here available that can really uh, uh, bring in the, the contrast or fade from the black to the gray. So this is something you need to give attention to get a much better result. Um, because time is at, against my side, please go and check this out, get in touch with regarding any questions within these options. I'll just go ahead and leave everything as default for now and quickly show you guys how the magic is going to happen. So to get to the 3D feature option, you need to access your solid bodies folder, right click on the solid body and hit the 3D texture option. This can also be found through a simple command search within the search tool. So I'll just go in and hit that option. You'll immediately notice a graphics body appearing and I'll go ahead and select the texture that we've just drag and dropped. As soon as I do that, you guys will notice the mesh starts to deform or starts to um, take shape. I'll then go ahead and refine the actual mesh that we see in front of us through these sliding bars. We've also got quite a few checkboxes available, so please go and have a look at them before you just jump right into it. Um, for the purpose of this example, I'll just jack this up so slightly, increase the element size, and I'll just give this a nice two more indent. Uh, please be aware of the white up and black down checkbox. This basically dictates if it's going to be an emboss or deboss. So just to show you guys, I've gone and hit the option for um, the actual extrude. Just to show you guys, I'll go ahead and say OK. And a graphic body is uh, will appear. Please note that our solid has now been hidden and our graphic is now being shown. So I'll just manipulate the view a bit and show you guys what is created. So as you'll notice, there's a clear indication of the extrude taking place from that texture to refine the edges or surfaces slightly. Like I said, we can convert this graphics body into a mesh body for further editing. Demonstrate this uh, manipulating of the 3D geometry a bit better. I've made use of the default uh, SolidWorks 3D textures and this can be found in your miscellaneous folder. As you guys will notice, there's a host of uh, already defined default 3D textures that's quite lovely to use. Like I said, simple drag and drop will add it to the face or part. So I'll quickly section this and just to prove that the actual geometry has been changed. You guys will notice the face has been manipulated following the actual texture. I hope this can help any 3D printing industry or perhaps any industrial designer. Until next time, guys, take care.